Hi guys, welcome back to Creating with Mimi. Today's video is all about how we can take our old dated furniture, give it a new fresh coat of paint and make it look like this. I can't wait to get started. Let's go. Like most of the tables that I have, guys, I keep them for a while and I will often change the bases and the tops. Well, this table is no different. This is what we're starting with in reference to this particular table. It has a white top and it has a brown bottom. And I just want to give it more of a warmer theme where it is uniform throughout. Starting off, we're going to be using chalk paint, C-H-A-L-K, chalk paint. And I love this paint because there's no reason to sand. You just apply it directly over whatever object that you're using and it is wonderful. I will leave a link to the chalk paint in the description box, but this is the way to go, guys, if you're ever going to repaint any furniture. Um, the color that I'm using is a very light color over the top of the white table. I did clean it first, and now I'm just applying the paint with a, a brush, a chalk brush. The overlay color I'm starting with, it's antique, and that's the name of the color. And I started off with a couple of different techniques to see if I would like it. I'm applying it with a sponge brush, which was pretty nice. And then I'm wiping it off with a cotton t-shirt or cotton cloth. I did not like that effect, guys, so I just decided to do something a little bit different. Actually, I did not like that technique as well. And it could be just me, but the sponge, I didn't have enough control over the layers with the sponge brush. So I decided to go back to my original bristle chalk brush and use that to apply the second color. And I loved that look. I actually loved the way that that turned out. It gave me a lot more control. Um, and it, it just softened up the look and I didn't have to use that much product. I was able to actually place the um, paint inside of the grooves because in this table around the edges of it, it has like a curved pattern and I needed to place, a, have something or a type of material that would allow me to actually get into the grooves of that really, really well. So I'm loving the way that this is turning out. I just love the way this color and the finish is coming out. I really, really like this color. It's, I want to say it's a medium tone, a little bit darker than a walnut, but it's not so brown and dark and it really gives me that Magnolia home theme that I'm looking for. I am enjoying the way that uh, this is applying to the actual tabletop.
I love this chalk brush. It is a brush that's actually made to use with chalk paint and it allows you to really, it's a thick brush, maybe about two inches in diameter, and it allows you to really put that paint on there and get that paint inside of the grooves without using multiple coats of paint. This table is everything. I've moved it from uh, the other part of the house and I've placed it now. This will be my main eating table in the kitchen area. And the way the sun beams down on the top of this table, it is just perfect for me. I love this. What you're looking at now is the paint drying overnight. I did apply a thin coat of varnish. Since this is our everyday eating table, I do need to give it some layer of protection so that it doesn't chip. But look at this base. This is such a beautiful color. These chairs are so comfortable and they do not take up a lot of room. I love the texture. It's a wood and then you have a metal and the seat is upholstered. I can sit in these chairs for hours. I've had company guests. No one complains about sitting in this chair at all. So I absolutely love it. And it fits around this round table in this um, breakfast nook area perfectly. So I decided to style the table and remember guys, green is the color that I'm working with for this year. So these chairs were white. We reupholstered the seat and added this luscious Kelly green. I am in love with this color. It is just fresh. The other thing that I love about it is I can use it year round. So Christmas time when I'm decorating, the green is gonna work out perfect, irregardless of the accent bulbs that I have. I always like a great centerpiece uh, in the table, some type of floral or artwork. And that's what you see currently. I'm placing the centerpiece in the table. And I decided to go with the jute placemats and it just offers a different texture. When I reveal the entire room, you guys will see all of the elements in the uh, Magnolia home and the farmhouse with a classic taste to it. Uh, so I did a, for me, the form house is kind of like a low lux and then enhancing that with a high lux, but keeping this 
actual table and the chairs and pulling everything together is what makes this space amazing. Absolutely love the, uh, actually it's a uh, flower pot and the smiley face, the color that it's yellow. I just want it to bring in something a little bit bright. And so every day I can wake up and walk downstairs and someone's smiling at me, even though there's no one in that space. So I decided to place these on top of a white plate and then I'm going to actually place a lavender purple color flower inside of this. And that way it ties in with what's going on in the backyard. So you see the yellow and the purple in the background. I'm bringing that, those colors inside. Next, we're moving on to this family room sitting area. And this is the table, guys, that I had in here before. So you could see I had lots of chrome glammed up and I was working with the blues and I'm completely switching over now to more of the earth tone colors. And that is the reason why I would like to have a wood tone effect, kind of like a Magnolia home. So I was at Home Goods and I saw this table. I thought it was perfect. So I picked up the uh, table size was absolutely gorgeous and perfect for me, but I didn't like the color. It was too dark and too much of a contrast. Hence, this is the reason why I'm going to paint it out. Okay guys, this is what it looks like after the first coat of the Waverly Cashew. And this is the easiest process of painting uh, with uh, chalk paint that you'll ever want to experience. I've painted with chalk paint maybe, I don't know, started off 10 years ago. And it's super, super easy, guys. You just find the right colors that you're looking for in order to get the finish. I think that's the most difficult part is determining what colors you wanna work with to get a certain finish or a certain look. But it's not difficult at all. There's no sanding. You just apply the color. So this is cashew and this is one coat. And that will be the only coat that I apply of the cashew and the next coat will pretty much be the finished color that I'm looking for. And then it's just a matter of applying it over the entire table, letting it dry, and then adding some type of epoxy finish for protection. That's it. This is the final outcome of this table. I applied the same colors, the antique and the cashew chalk paint, and you can pick it up at Amazon, Walmart, Target, and I, I love it. I love the table, I love the new rug, and the rug has all of the multiple colors, the blue, the rust, the green, and I'm gonna do a full room reveal for you guys for a later video, but for now, I'm gonna give you a glimpse of what this room is actually going to look like, and I am in seven heaven. This dining eating table turned out spectacular with all of the colors and the lavender, the jute rug, the 
yellow vase. I absolutely love this. And it's just such an inviting space. I suggest that you guys highly, highly, highly consider utilizing the chalk paint instead of getting rid of your furniture. There's so many different colors, variations that you can actually go with. It is an amazing product and I think you'll be thoroughly pleased. If you like this video guys, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell and that way you'll get notified each time a new upload comes up. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for all of those that are following and make every day a great day.